cells are dividing our body all the time. Prior to each cell division, one DNA molecule is duplicated into two. These two DNA molecules must then separate and go to two different cells. This must take place rather robustly to ensure our survival. However, this process is far from straightforward. The challenge originates from the beautiful right-handed double helical nature of DNA, meaning that as the ribosome replicates the DNA and moves forward, it must also simultaneously rotate around the DNA helical axis. This puts DNA under a tremendous amount of torsional stress, causing the DNA to twist and coil as a result. The question is, where does the extra twist go? We took a fresh look at this question, focusing on the mechanical properties of chromatin. Here's our fancy version of a chromatin fiber. We reasoned that if it is easier to twist a single chromatin fiber as would be located in front of the replosome, then this is where the extra twist would go. In this case, the two daughter DNA molecules would not be tangled up, so they can separate. However, if it is easier to twist two chromatin fibers, as would be located behind the replosome, then this is where the actual twist would go. In this case, the two daughter DNA molecules would be completely intertwined. This would create a major issue for chromosome segregation during cell division, and it could cause DNA damage and cell death. But how do you find out how hard it is to twist a molecule? We developed the angular optical trap to answer questions just like this. We found that it is a lot easier to twist a single chromatin fiber than to twist a double chromatin fiber. So the extra twist will primarily go to the front, thus minimizing the intertwining of the two daughter DNA molecules. In the cell, topoisomerases help to entangle DNA molecules. We found that while the actual twist primarily goes to the single chromatin fiber in front of the replosome, the single chromatin fiber is also a preferred substrate for topoisomerase action. Thus, chromatin mechanics and topoisomerase activity coordinate in a synergistic fashion to minimize the outer strand intertwining. Although chromatin is normally considered an obstacle to replication, our results show that chromatin also simplifies replication topology and thus facilitates replication dynamics. This is rather remarkable. Our findings also highlight the importance of chromatin mechanics in fundamental biological processes.